Welcome back to The Defiant, everyone. We've got an easy to digest airdrop starter guide today, and it's packed with actionable tips. Now, with all the recent hype around the endless list of airdrop options and a new project announcing points almost weekly, it can be difficult to pick a starting point for your airdrop farming journey. So today's airdrop guide is really something anyone can use to get started because we've included a solid range of options. Some airdrops are purely DeFi focused, some are NFT and digital art focused, others have daily gamified challenges, and one simply involves hardware. There's really something for everyone here, which is why you should stick around till the end and figure out which airdrops you can get started with today. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, as we're focusing on Solana airdrops, it goes without saying that you'll need a wallet like Phantom or Soulflare, which are compatible with the Solana ecosystem. Once you have a wallet, the Solana ecosystem really is your oyster and you're ready to get going. We're kicking things off today with the massive Jupiter airdrop. The recent Jupe airdrop distributed a billion tokens to nearly a million wallets, making it one of the largest we've seen so far. Jupiter is a liquidity aggregator for token swaps, perpetual futures and decentralized stablecoins offering a range of tokens. The project confirmed their token launch, allocating 40% of the total supply for airdrops. Users who had already interacted with the platform before November 2nd were eligible to share the first 10% of that supply. Future airdrops with the remaining 30% of the supply will be distributed in three rounds. So here's a step-by-step. To qualify for the upcoming Jupiter airdrop rounds, users must swap tokens, set limit orders, set DCAs or dollar cost averaging, use the Jupiter bridge and or trade perps. So to get started, we'll head over to jupe.ag and we will connect our wallet. Once we're in, we're gonna start by clicking the swap tab. And here we can decide which tokens we want to trade. Next, we're going to the Limit Order tab where we can select the tokens we want to buy and the price at which we want to buy them. We also have a DCA tab where we can decide at what price we want to buy tokens and with what frequency. So for example, assuming I want to buy a small amount of SOL every day, I could decide that I want to buy 0.1 SOL every day for the coming week. And finally, we have the bridge tab, which is a very straightforward tab. Here I can bridge my tokens between different ecosystems. So let's say I wanna bridge my USDC from Ethereum to Solana. I can do that right here and qualify for dupe airdrop points. Also, don't forget, you can trade perps for extra points and hopefully a larger share of the potential airdrop. Now, the second airdrop we're looking into today is Parcel, which offers perpetual futures trading on RWAs or real world assets. In other words, Parcel allows people to long or short real estate markets without having exposure to the underlying asset. Because let's face it, not everyone is eligible to or can even afford to buy property in places like London or New York. Parcel has a TVL or total value locked of over $64 million and a total funding of 11.6 million in funding from various investors, including Solana Ventures. Now, since they introduced a point system, it appears likely that they will be airdropping rewards to users for trading and providing liquidity. To get started, we're gonna visit the app.parcel.co website. Once you've connected your Solana wallet and completed the onboarding process, you can go to the Provide Liquidity tab to become a liquidity provider. Now, bearing in mind, you will need USDC to provide liquidity and one USDC will give you three points per day. So after creating a trading account from the profile tab, you can then go to the markets tab and open long or short positions. So let's say I want to long the New York housing market. I can simply open a long position of the size that I want right here. And finally, you can visit the points tab to see the rewards you've accumulated. Bearing in mind, referral codes also work for extra points, so don't forget to invite your friends. Next, we have MarginFi, a decentralized lending protocol on Solana. Now, to qualify for the potential airdrop, users need to lend and or borrow assets for which they receive a separate sum of points. So if you don't feel comfortable borrowing and you only want to lend, you're good to go with MarginFi. To get started, visit mfi.gg and sign in by connecting your wallet. Now, once connected, we can go to the lending tab and supply tokens. 
Now what's really handy is that I can toggle between the light and pro versions of the website and the pro version simply gives me a much more detailed overview of the positions that I've opened. So assuming I want to supply some Solana, I can simply go to the Lend tab, click on Supply, select the amount of Solana that I want to deposit and start accumulating points. Now the same goes for borrowing. If I click on Borrow, depending on the amount of collateral that I have, I can borrow against it. Now it's important to mention that you can also stake and bridge for points here. As you can see on the Points tab, referrals will also get you extra points and you'll be able to see the different amount of points that you've accumulated for depositing and borrowing. Now an important word of caution for those both lending and borrowing. Make sure to monitor your account health, which is conveniently displayed for you and avoid liquidations in the case of massive price swings. Next up, we have Camino. Camino is a first of its kind DeFi protocol that unifies lending, liquidity and leverage into a single DeFi product suite. While Camino doesn't yet have their own token, they may well launch one in the near future. So users may get an airdrop based on the points if and when the token goes live. To get started, visit app.camino.finance and start by connecting your wallet. Once connected, go to the borrow slash lend tab to supply or borrow tokens. Right here, you can see all the tokens that are available to borrow and supply along with the APYs associated with them and the total amount that's been supplied and borrowed by other users. Next, we're gonna to go to the liquidity tab and here you can decide to provide liquidity to any one of the trading pools provided. Users can also qualify for extra points by using the multiply tab, which allows users to use leverage. Camino also allows you to use leverage on longing and shorting. Now we said there would be NFT related airdrops for all the JPEG jockeys out there. And here's the first one. Sniper.xyz is a Solana NFT marketplace that lets you browse, trade, and collect a whole heap of really cool NFT collections. The marketplace has a reward system for trading, listing, and bidding on NFTs. The reward system, point leaderboard, and a coming soon tab have left many to speculate on a possible future airdrop. To qualify, head over to sniper.xyz and once again, start by connecting your wallet. Once you're connected, you can start exploring on the left-hand side of the website. We'll start with the Browse tab, where we can see all of the cool NFT collections that are available. Let's click on the first one. Now to accrue points, you'll have to buy an NFT directly, place some bids and or list your NFTs which you own. Now once again, this is not a guaranteed airdrop, so don't go betting the house on it. Please use caution and common sense as with any potential airdrop which you may decide to farm. And once you've engaged with the platform, you can head over to the Rewards tab and see the amount of points that you've accumulated. Tensor is our second NFT-related airdrop of the day, and it's an NFT trading platform on Solana which claims to have the broadest coverage and the best execution in class. Now, although there is no official token release yet, they hinted at doing an airdrop to early users, so it's likely that they will launch a token eventually. Now let's go through a step by step. To qualify, head over to tensor.trade and start by connecting your wallet. Now on the homepage, you'll be able to browse the trending NFT collections and you'll see their price details and the 24 hour trading volume and all the cool details. But another cool feature that they have is once again, being able to switch between the light and pro versions of the website. Now, if you're familiar with OpenSea, the light version looks a lot like the NFT marketplace that we're familiar with while the pro version looks a lot more like a trading platform. Now, once you own an NFT, you can list it and place bids for other NFTs. Completing these tasks regularly could improve your chances and potential airdrop size. Users will then earn loot boxes based on the points they accumulate on the platform. You can of course go to the rewards tab and see the amount of points that you've accumulated. Now, please note that there is no guarantee that they will do an airdrop to early users or even launch a token. Next, we have Drift Protocol, a decentralized, fully on-chain perpetual swaps exchange built on Solana. Drift Protocol has already raised $3.8 million in funding from investors like Multicoin Capital and Jump Capital. While they don't yet have their own token, there is speculation that they could launch one in the near future. Trading on the platform could qualify you for an airdrop if and when they launch their tokens. To get started, once again, head over to the website app.drift.trade and connect your wallet. So let's start by heading over to the spot and perpetual trading tabs where we can select a pair and start trading. Next, we're gonna go over to the earn tab where you can lend and borrow. 
Next, you can also visit the staking and liquidity pool section to earn leverage yield on Sol staking. All right, once you've engaged with the platform, it's time to head over to the rewards tab and see how many points you've accumulated. Now, a quick reminder that points are rewarded for both trading volume and providing liquidity. Next, we have Drip House, an innovative NFT platform allowing users to become a collector of fine and rare digital items. The company has already secured $3 million in seed funding, and to get in, you'll either need an invite code or 0.1 SOL in a compatible wallet like SOLFLARE or Phantom. To get started, visit drip.house and connect a compatible wallet. Once you're in, you can start exploring the art collections you'd like, and thank the artists for their work by sending them messages and droplets, which are points accumulated by users for interacting with the platform. Users can open chests every 24 hours to unlock small rewards and accrue more points. So make sure to come back daily and repeat to claim more droplets. Now we have a bonus round. Next up is the Solana airdrop itself. What? How can that be, you say? Well, we reviewed the Solana Saga a few months before the Bonk airdrop frenzy, which saw Solana Saga phones fetching for up to $5,000. Soon after, Solana announced the Saga 2. Yeah, well, if you pre-order the Saga 2 for about $450, you'll likely qualify for the upcoming airdrop, or so people say. Considering multiple airdrops were given to the OG Saga owners, who knows what sort of Easter eggs they'll have in store for users of the Saga 2. Now, and on that note, what do you think of the Solana Saga 2 and its price tag? Let us know in the comments below. All right, we hope this airdrop guide has helped you decide where to start and given you a few tips to maximize your points for potential airdrops. As always, stay defiant and happy farming, everyone.